Howdy howdy everybody uh, Back again for a um, for the um, fifth um, lesson What I've uh, decided uh, to do, I've, I've got the um, one inch uh, brush for putting on the, the <coughs> liquid white which is already on there I've got a small um, fan brush I've got um, some flats, hog, hog bristle flats, a uh, 10, a 5 and a um, 4. Uh, I've got, uh, uh, I've got the, uh, another 5, uh, I've got a 5 um, filbert and I've got uh, some hog hair. Um, not uh, necessarily uh, real hog hair, it's a syn synthetic hog hair, um, badger hair I mean, and the um, script liner. Uh, um, that's all I'll be uh, using um, for uh, over the next uh, few. Um, I'll also be uh, starting off with a A4 size canvas also covered in a liquid white. Unless um, I, uh, and it won't be for quite some time, uh, if, I, if I change uh, anything uh, along the line I'll uh, let you know. Uh, anyway, we're uh, going to do a, uh, an outback um, sort of scene that um, everybody um, does in one time of their uh, beginning to uh, get uh, started. Uh, we'll put the uh, the sky in then we'll come down and we'll put uh, a small range of mountains along here then we'll uh, put in uh, some um, some trees uh, and on both sides here and then we'll put in another uh, knoll here and a knoll there and in between we'll have uh, some uh, some grass through there, possibly a um, a little uh, hut or a cabin over here and a river running through. Now these are very very basics. We're not trying to do a uh, full-fledged uh, painting as yet. We are just trying to get our <coughs> paint onto the, the canvas and to represent a small painting. Crisscross strokes right across, darker in the corners. up a little bit more to make it dark in this other corner. Now as you come down get lighter and lighter and lighter. Alright, going to pick up a little bit more of the blue hello blue it is my apologies I have not told you the colours that uh, will run through them we've got uh, hello blue, Van Dyke Brown dark sienna titanium white Cadmium yellow, sap green, and of course uh, the liquid white. That's all the colours. Getting lighter, we get the sky. 
sky is always darker at the top than it is at the horizon line. I hope I haven't got my big head in, in front of it again. I've got a bad habit of doing that. Pick up a bit of the uh, a small amount of um, titanium white, and if you've been watching uh, the last couple, I like my uh, skies with a streak through them, running back at a, virtually a, uh, a 45 degree angle, so that the sky looks as though it's running away from us. If you're left-handed, you can do it that way. No worries. So all I do at the present time is just put some streaks across, we don't, uh, not necessarily worrying about cl clouds at this time. We'll go into that later on. Square up your, your horizon line. Try to make it as straight as possible. Right, uh, that's what we'll do for the, the sky. Now we'll pick up uh, a small amount of Van Dyke Brown, very dark brown. Uh, and it will murder you if you put too much on. We're going to make a tabletop mountain in the in the in the centre or just off centre and we'll bring the rest of the range uh, through to either side. Make it very light to start off with. We don't want uh, to overdo it at this stage. Very lightly. It's going to be in the background. Pick a little, little bit more up if you haven't got enough on your brush. I'm going to clean off the uh, the big brush and pick up a, uh, a smaller one. I'm going to put mine in uh, my oil so it can uh, be ready to be um, cleaned out with the the cloth, uh, the paper again. We're going to pick up the uh, <coughs> the flat. Number five, and we're going to just get a bit more of the Van Dyke Brown, and to pull it at a slight angle.
across Put these uh, paints out about an hour ago, and the hot weather here is um, getting into them already. But, uh, uh, I've got some uh, linseed oil here. If I if I need to use it, well, I'll let you know if I do. Alright, there's your background. Start start off with. Now we'll uh, just bring uh, some uh, some sienna, dark sienna into uh, uh, dark. Yeah, the dark sienna into the. Um, that's to give it a little bit of a, a change in colour up here. Just put some streaks into it. By doing that, you get the representation of, of rocks. Well, you can't see them or anything like that. It just gives you a different uh, looking onto the onto the canvas. I'll need a bit more. I'm sorry I can't show you how much um, paint I pick up each time. It is... I don't have the... Um, <coughs> cameras to do it. Alright, we'll get a small amount of uh, sap green, bring it across I just dabbed the width of the brush across and, uh, and brought it down across the, uh, the, the green. I'm darkening it off with a bit of sienna and a bit of uh, Van Dyke uh, brown. I don't want the green to be overbearing here because it's such a long way away. Now, just don't come across in a straight, straight line. Try to make it look like there's there's some valleys by doing these sort of things cutting across and down this way and coming up, coming back across and then pulling straight across for a little bit then pull down and you can see how that's starting to re represent there's some valleys, knolls in the, in the back area there, They're nothing too big or too bold at the present time, it's just pulling the, the paint, putting the paint into the and onto the canvas. Now, believe it or not, we've been running around about um, six minutes, seven minutes. It will go a little bit longer. Now, 
Now that's about as far as I want to go down the painting. So now, don't worry about what's going on back here at the present time. We can always straighten that up and clean it up and make it look a little bit more representable as we go along. Now we'll just get a another um, brush here. We'll use the um, the filbert uh, brush. Filbert brush has got the the rounded edge, and you can flatten it out. But when you put your paint on, uh, we'll use that one, and we're going to put in a couple of small hills through here. One will be a little bit slightly forward, more forward than the other. Dirty the brush up. Alright. Now don't make it too too dark. Don't go whack and push it all on. Just take it easy. Start up here. Got your, your base line up here. And pull it down, down, down to the what you want to represent the hill. Alright. If you want it a little bit bigger, right, we'll make it a little bit bigger. Just bring it up here. Alright, just bring some of that of that colour forward. We can always put a bit of greenery over it later on. Right, now that one is darker than that one. So that's pushing that one, this one back. Alright, now to get this one to go back a little bit further, we will make this one here darker than what that one is. Now that means picking up a little bit of extra paint Going down. Hopefully you can see the brush. I'm a shocker at that. I'm uh, trying to learn to stay away from the from the uh, the handle, but um, I. Uh, have this bad habit of, of um, holding the brush down too low. Alright, <coughs> we'll uh, call that uh, time and the end of part one and when we come back we will do the next stage.
Catch you shortly.